Hey guys, um, this is my first ever recording. We're gonna start with this. This is the way that I edit. It's it's not the right way. It's not the wrong way. It's just the way that I do it. And I decided to make these videos to show you how I do it. <laughs> so let's check it out. I chose some photos and the way I choose photos, there's a lot of photos. And I haven't really chosen throughout the whole gallery, but I just chose a couple of here and there. So what the way I choose it is by marking it as as a red tag. And I have one of the buttons on my mouse give me that red tag just by the push of a button. So I can go through it real quick and say, okay, I want that. Oh, not that, sorry. Uh, I want that one, I want that one, and so on and so on. And I have it filter here to the color tag. So what I do is I go to user styles, I'll go to core, which is one that I made up, and I start editing. So right here I notice her skin, it, the flash may be hitting it too much, so I try and lower the highlights a little bit, maybe the brightness a little bit, so that it looks more natural. Bring up the exposures, and believe me, what I do here, there's this, uh, this, uh, formula to getting these pictures right. This is based on what I see and what I like and what I can do here to, to try to make this a better image. But everybody has different tastes and that's what I think makes photography better, right? Everybody will come up with a different way to edit a one picture. So this is just my way. Uh, That's pretty good. Maybe what I can do here is add some kind of a, a draw a radial gradient mask. So, so let's do one here. Bring it down. Down a little bit here. A little bit higher. So we'll say everything around her. Maybe get a little warmer. Let's see how that looks. Let me bring up the shadows. Oh, that's too much. A little bit. How? Does that look? That doesn't look bad. I like that. Uh, looks pretty good, I think. I like that. So I have another button that I can push copy on and another button that I can push paste on. So I have all these settings from the last picture transferred to this picture. And there'll be some things that you'll need to change because I am not 100% consistent from picture to picture, Every, you know, settings do change. So here I am with this one. I like this. I feel like uh, the light can be hitting her face a little bit more. Uh, I'll explain why I think I didn't get it in post. I could have just been I didn't see it. I mean, while I was shooting. But what where I'm shooting right now is uh, this place called Eden Canyon in uh, Altadena in California. And they don't allow you to use flash here, so you have to use natural light. But I, I'm not a natural light photographer. I hate using just the natural light. So I use the flash when I need it, but they stop it here. So I tend to go really fast and use it, and maybe I don't set it up quite the way I want to set it up, but I get it as fast as I can, and right now what I'm trying to do is just make it so that it doesn't look fake, like I'm not adding too much light, just a tiny bit. I opened up the shadows here a little bit. So then I copy this, and I'll paste it here, and it's almost the same picture, but you can see here the, the mask moves a little bit, so I'm just going to paint over the parts that need it, and I program my keyboard to delete, so I'll push, oh, oh, capture one, and then I'll delete a little bit, so I'll just keep the mask where I think it needs a little bit of light, I right, open up the shadows, oh, a little bit right here, right, let's see, it's probably too much, erase a little bit here, let's see how that looks, that looks better already. So I have another button here that I program to duplicate the picture. So let's say I like that one. I'll go to user styles. I'll go to matte. Like I like a matte look, but I don't like a matte look for 
everything. So that's fine to me. And it gives a variety of pictures, people. People appreciate these pictures. Unless you got the kind of client that just wants uh, a few pictures, then then you're going to really work, get to work on each single photo. I'm talking about like every blemish, everything. But that's not the way I present these photos. I usually give a lot of pictures. And so I take a lot and I'm pretty consistent so I can get through these pretty quickly. Not that quickly, but quickly. And then I can duplicate a picture here and there and make it into matte or black and white. So here, this is the layer two. That's the one for the that I was using to add a little open up the shadows in the face. So I'm just gonna delete that layer. And this one was for the uh, the warmth around the around her. But this is a horizontal picture and this was a vertical picture, so it's gonna change. So here, let's start over here. Maybe that it's 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 got the same thing here. I don't feel like the shadows are opening up as much in her face as I want, and and it's nothing. I don't think there's anything I can show you to tell you that, to to show you why I think that. It's just the way I see it and the way I think of it, and I feel like I could use a little bit of more light, so that's pretty good without looking fakey. Fake. There's no, you know, just a little bit of opening the shadows. So I'll go back to the main picture. That's good. So I think I like the idea of uh, of making the back, making the surroundings a little warmer. So I'll do the the radial uh, mask again, or the what is this called? The radio gradient mask. So bring this down. Good. Maybe bring it in a little bit so we can get it as tight as possible. And then just subtly raise the temperature. Not too much, nothing crazy, nothing. I like realism, I guess, uh, more so in the pictures than those kind of fake looking shots. Although there is something to be said about those Photoshop pictures that just look amazing. Where, you know, different pictures of composite, that's what it's called. Those are really cool. But... This is the way I edit the photos. So I'll go back to the background. And I think this is pretty good. This is good right here. So I'll copy that. Maybe I'll duplicate it and show you. So I'll go to user styles. And I like this one for black and white. It's kind of like a matte black and white. Let's see how this looks. Oh, there you go. Good. So you can see I just gave this person two different looks, right? Real quick. So. Go back to this one. Let's see where everything is landing here. This is the the gradient mask. Pretty good there. This is the mask for the for the uh, the shadows on her face. So, that's where it was for the last picture. Oh, this capture one is faster than Lightroom, but you know. I wish it was faster even still. So I'll add some shadow, open up the shadows here, delete this part. And let's see how that looks. Maybe more? Uh, that looks okay still. Let me add a little bit more. Let's see. A bit right here. Alright, how does that look? Come on, capture one. Show me. That looks good. It doesn't look fake. It doesn't look like I had it. Like, oh, maybe up here it does. Let's see. Let's see. What does it do now? That looks better to me. That looks really good. So, again, I'll give her. A different picture. Nah, I don't do this to every picture. Although it seems like I am right now, but I don't. And I just think it looks really cool. And it took me what five seconds to create a second look for this picture. So right here, I can copy this and paste it here. But this is a vertical and this is a horizontal. So what I'll do maybe is I will get this one, copy the settings from that one, paste it onto here, and things still look different, right? So I deleted the two layers, but I kept the original 
settings. So let me adjust a little bit, maybe bring down. That looks pretty good already, but I do like the, the surrounding warmth. So I'll go back to this radio, uh, radio gradient, bring it down just to encapsulate her body. There you go, and just bring it out a little bit so I can. That looks good. Let's see. Does that look good? Let me go back to the background. If I push Z, right now it's on, what is this, white balance picker? I actually only clicked on this. If I put Z on my keyboard, I programmed it to do this so I can start rotating it in case I messed up on that on the degrees of angle, but that looks good. I don't really see anything else I can do to this image, but since I'm showing you, uh, what I do sometimes is uh, copy the image and give you a different look, I will do that again. So let's say I wanna make this black and white. I have all these black and whites and I have all, I don't really love them all, but that was pretty cool. I landed on that, I like that. And bring up the shadows, it looks a little, there you go, that looks, that looks good to me. So I just went through how many pictures super quick. So one thing that I do do to export is I highlight them all. Oh, not all these, cause I didn't work on these, but the ones that I did work on, export, variants, and usually what I'll do is I'll just put it to the, to the to the desktop and then I'll transfer them to another folder. And then I'll export them. And you can see that here. Where is the desktop? And then here. And then I keep going like this throughout the whole gallery. And this one's got what, 300 and some duck pictures. I can get through this in about an hour and a half, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, and then I'm done. And that's how quickly I can edit. It all is thanks to this mouse that I can program these buttons. It's amazing, it's changed the way I do things. I used to have the loop deck. I used to have the, uh, the palette. No, no, look, I didn't have the loop deck. I thought about getting the loop deck, but I had the palette and it did help, but it wasn't compatible with Capture One really well, so I just kind of gave up on it. But then I got this mouse and it's like, this is better than the palette ever was. So anyways, that's the end of the video. I, I will keep making these. I, I'm going to show you some really cool videos coming up where I'm gonna have a GoPro attached to the camera. So you can actually be there at the weddings, at the photo shoots, and you can see how I shoot. And right here, I didn't think of that idea before that, so I don't have GoPro footage of this shoot, but I have these photos. So I will also upload how I edit each and every one of the events. And if you enjoy, just watch, uh, subscribe. Uh, I'm just a normal guy that likes pictures and found a way to make money with it, and I love it, and I wouldn't trade it for anything else. Thanks, bye.